If you're gonna be water cooling your PC, there's a ton of options for the coolant that you're gonna use, all the way from the type, like opaque or the more clear ones, all the way down to the colors, and you can even have ones that kind of reflect the RGB coming out of your system that are pretty cool. So let's talk about what type of coolant you should use, what I've used before, some of my experiences, and that way you can make a better decision when you're water cooling your gaming PC. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. What type of coolant have you used? All right, so anytime you're gonna be water cooling your PC, choosing the type of coolant that you're gonna use is actually pretty important, not only for the longevity of the computer, but also for the design aesthetic that you're looking to go for. So right off the bat, this is gonna eliminate any type of air cooling or AIO. Today, we're strictly talking about custom open loop water cooling. Now, if you're using something like the matte black tubes that you can't see the liquid inside, I mean, that takes away a lot of the visual aspect of it, but but often you can still see that visible coolant color maybe in the reservoir or maybe in one of your blocks so just because your tubing isn't clear doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to see any color at all so first before we talk about the colors let's talk about a few different coolant types as well as brands that i've used so basically the one that i started with and that i've probably used the most is going to be from ek water blocks and that's going to be their cryofuel line of coolants. Now, these come in a variety of colors, of course. Um, I like these because they tend to last a pretty long time. Primarily, they're very easy to find and accessible as well. For example, that's the coolant that my local micro center always seems to carry, even in the beginning. Now, they've added some different brands, but that's definitely been the one that's been the most popular. They're pretty easy to find on places like Amazon and Newegg. So, in general, that EK water blocks, the, the cryofuel, I've definitely used it for for a long time i've used various different colors never had any type of trouble with them they always seem to be pretty reliable you can get them in either a premix of a larger bottle or you can get them in a smaller bottle and then even use distilled water yourself to kind of mix everything in i kind of prefer to have the premix that way i don't have to measure distilled water or anything like that and i can just dump the whole bottle in there i know that all the additives and everything's already mixed in that's a nice really easy way to do it especially if you're going to be new to water cooling if it's a small loop off then maybe one to one and a half bottles are enough but if you're doing a bigger loop you definitely want to get at least two bottles and maybe three to be safe the variety of colors that the ek cryofuel has it's pretty nice but it's going to be your basic colors nothing too crazy or exotic um just one note on the colors a few of them that i've used in the past like especially the red color they do tend to stain everything they touch really easily i mean maybe sometimes even the inside of the blocks if you have to take it out to do something else you may have to do a little bit more of a thorough deep cleaning but i remember when i was working especially with the red one if i drop it on my hands it really stains it considerably more than other colors I don't know what it is about that particular one, but it's definitely considerably more visible. But as long as you're careful, don't drop it in or anything. And it's still cleanable. It's not like it's a permanent stain. It just seems to stay on there a little bit more than some of the other colors that I tried. And you have to remember too, when you're looking at the aesthetics of your PC and it's on, some colors are definitely a lot harder to light if you have RGB lighting in your system. Like if you have red and you put on red lighting, in my opinion, I don't really think that looks really good unless you have some type of fluorescent in there or something like that generally let's say if i had a red liquid i would stay with very simple lighting maybe like a nice white light for your rgb like one light if you do any other color the visuals really get a little bit murky it's definitely not as nice the rainbow mode in rgb sometimes believe it or not can work with red it looks pretty cool moving around but most of the time i just like to put maybe a, a very basic white type of lighting in whatever case i'm doing if it's going to be red now with the other colors you can definitely play around a little bit more for example when I use green of course wh white lights gonna work as well but I love pairing purple lights with green um, that seems to really give you a really nice effect if you pair purple with green they go really nicely often they'll give you a little bit of that fluorescent look almost like where it pops out a little bit so that's a pretty good combination the other colors that you pair with your system as well just keep in mind how they're gonna interact with different components like uh, especially your power supply cables if you're doing custom different colored cables and of course like we mentioned your lighting just make sure 
make sure you set that up to sort of really accompany the color nicely or else if you don't do necessarily the right type of lighting with the coolant that you're doing that can really affect the look of your system and make it not look as pleasant as if you just do a really nice lighting scheme so to summarize the ek cryo fuel is a nice it's very stable easy to find it has some pretty nice colors you can't really go too wrong with it if you buy the premix bottle so if you're new to water cooling i would just get something like that in the past those kits have come with a little bottle of like the clear coolant that you could always add these little packs of color to it um, ek now also offers these little dye packs if you're going to do like distilled water or something clear that you can actually add the fluid just make sure to see how much liquid per how much of the dye pack that you're going to put in um, that works as well i just think the pre-mix is a little bit easier because you just put it in and you don't have to worry about any type of ratios the second type of coolant we're going to talk about are going to be sort of the opaque or solid type coolants. Now, I've also used the ones from EK. They have their solid line. Generally, the benefit of these is that the color is going to look amazing because it's like an opaque, a solid. It's a much thicker type of fluid. It really brings out sort of in your tubes and in your build, especially if you pair it with the right RGB lighting. I really like these. I think EK did a lot of research to make sure they'd be as stable as possible. In the past, if you use something like the, the Primo Chill View or something like that, they really weren't meant to stay in your system for that long. They would eventually kind of fall apart very quickly, even after maybe a few weeks or something like that. Now the EK Solid and these opaque fluids are definitely a lot more resilient, but keep in mind that I don't think the opaque is necessarily going to be as resilient to different chemical changes really long term as opposed to something that's more simple like the EK Cryofuel. In the past, I've had about two different systems with this solid coolant that seemed to do pretty good even for like nine, ten months. All of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, the particles started to separate where everything would become a little bit white in like the GPU blocks and the coolant itself would become a lot more clear and light as those particles separate. It's almost like the heavier part that was part of that opaque color went down to the bottom and then the lighter part stayed on. But in those two cases, they seem to be timed with when I was running the system for a longer period of time without shutting down, as well as keeping the pump at a low RPM. So I don't know, maybe that slow rotation kind of made it separate um, because I know for the months that I was using it, turning the PC off every day, I really didn't have any problems at all. So while these opaque and solid coolants look absolutely amazing, I've used the blue one that looks really cool, the orange, the yellow, they all look pretty much incredible. They look, in my opinion, better than the Cryofuel and even some of the other ones like by Mayhems and Corsair. But you have to keep in mind that they're gonna be a little more finicky. You may run a risk of having some type of a chemical reaction, maybe in like in a hardware labs radiator. I know there were some issues that they were reacting with those radiators. So you may have more issues and if you use distilled water or a more basic coolant, but you're gonna get a much nicer aesthetic. So just keep in mind that eventually down the road, you may need to flush your system, clean it out if you wanna do something like this. If that's not up your alley and you want something a little bit more reliable, I would go with something more simple like the EK Cryofuel. Doesn't look as cool, at least most likely, I think it may last longer without giving you any problems, just because it's a more simple and lighter type of coolant. Now, I've also been testing a beta fluid from EK Water Blocks. This is gonna be their Mystic Fog. I'm not gonna go into too much details because this is still in beta. I'm just Going to show you guys how it looks i put it in the lee and lee dynamic excel case which is the perfect case for this i have rgb everywhere you see the ek water blocks gpu block cpu block in the back i have a distribution plate the rgb almost looks like it's in the tubes and in the liquid itself which is the you know the point of this so my first impressions and i'll talk just about the visuals here i think it looks really really awesome and i'm excited for when they finally bring this out into production the next step is definitely going to be doing rgb lights in your coolant i mean even the power supply cables nowadays have RGB so why not and I know main gear also did a solution where it looks like they almost put the RGB um, lighting inside the tubes themselves it's a much more elaborate type of setup than just this coolant here but that's definitely something that I think in the right build looks really awesome I love the way the light sort of reflects everywhere it looks really really cool and it definitely adds a different dimension to your computer um, for example if I change the color of the lighting from like purple to like RGB it almost looks like the coolant is completely different which makes 
makes it very flexible so you can have different color themes going on in your computer. But anyway, since this is still in beta, we'll talk about it in more detail when it's actually released. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a visual glimpse of it. And then a couple of other popular coolants that are on the market. Corsair recently came out with their water cooling line and they're using coolants that I believe are made by Mayhems. Those are also very good coolants. In fact, the Corsair ones are going to be more similar to like the EK Cryofuel. They seem to be pretty reliable. They're going to be more straightforward. It's a little easier to find. Like I could find it at my local micro center. They sell it alongside the EK water blocks. So that's definitely a plus. Sometimes your water cooling, you may have to run out and get a little bit more if you're short. Um, so you don't have to wait for like a week delivery from some obscure type of coolant. So it's definitely nice having these options as well. Mayhems and Corsair, the fluid that they use, you know, it's definitely very high quality. Now, aside from these that I mentioned, there are other companies like Thermotake and Primo Chill that also make coolants. Some of the opaque or the more solid looking ones from those companies, I would definitely be careful with because people have experienced different problems in the past, especially with something like the Primo Chill View. I mean, those are specifically meant for like a showcase system or something like that, where you're only going to have it in the system for maybe a few days or like a week at most. So if you're building a long term gaming rig, you want to make sure it's going to be a coolant that's going to be in there for at least a year, I'd say, before you have to switch it out. And most of those other options that I mentioned are going to do it. If you want the most reliability possible, you're not going to have those cool opaque looks, but I would go with some of the more simple fluids like the EK Cryofuel or even the regular Corsair ones. I think that's going to give you a better chance just for a longer lasting fluid that doesn't have as many risks for like a chemical reaction to break it apart, where something like an opaque coolant definitely has a little bit higher chance of it breaking apart just because it's a little bit more complex of a coolant. All right, guys, so that was just a little summary of a few different type of coolant types that I've used. I try to keep it pretty basic. That way you have so many things to worry about when you're building a water cooling computer. You don't want to be confused by 50 different coolants or anything like that. So in the beginning, just stick to the more simple and straightforward coolants. Later on, when you have more confidence and you know how to easily drain and take your system apart, you can start to try some of these opaque or solid coolants, which may have a little bit more maintenance tied to them. And of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.